happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Cause the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and... Get well soon. Hello, I'm Dr. Ranj. Welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Ah, good. But someone isn't feeling very well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's deep. When I go to the doctor, I tremble and I sigh. I'm a little quiet, I'm a bit shy. But Dr. Ranch is gentle, he always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going to be okay. So I can climb up to the castle and clumber down again, or snuggle with a storybook, or sit and watch the rain. Cause Dr. Ranch is gentle, he always finds a way to make me feel that everything is going Come in, Dee. Oh, you're very busy. Oh, I'll come back another time. That's OK, you've got an appointment. That means it's your special time to come and see me. Oh, OK. <sighs> so how are you today? Well, not very well. My, my tummy aches. Oh, dear, I'm sorry to hear that. Have you anything to eat or drink? No, I don't feel like it. Mm, we'd better take a look at you then. Can you hop up onto this couch for me? Here we go. Right, I'll just quickly clean my hands. OK, if you lie down for me, we can take a look. Here we go. OK, let's have a look. Oh, I'm not hurting you, am I? No, but, but my tummy feels all blown up, like... like a balloon. Speaking of balloons... Here's a hat. <gasps> Very smart. <laughs> so, Deep, tell me, when was the last time you did a poo? It's OK, everybody poos. I poo, you poo, we all poo. <laughs> did you go for a poo today? Mm -mm -mm. Yesterday? Mm -mm -mm. <gasps> but yesterday, I was at my new nursery. Oh, was it exciting? Well, yes, but... But... When I was there, I needed to go for a poo, but I didn't want to sit on the toilet. Is that because it was all new and a bit different? Yes. That's OK. You'll soon get used to your new nursery. But I think I know why you're not feeling well. It's because you haven't done a poo for a while. <gasps> Does that make you feel ill? Yeah, sometimes. Do you know what it's called? <laughs> it's called constipation. con sti pay shin That's right. It just means you're a bit blocked up. Look. Now, your poo is the last stage of a fascinating journey that food makes as it goes through your body. A journey that starts up here in your mouth and ends up right down here in your bottom. Oh, like, like a bus journey? No, it's a bit more like a water slide. When you swallow, the food washes down into your stomach. Your stomach's like a stretchy bag. Inside, all the food gets mixed up and goes all mushy. Yeah. <laughs> That's so that it can pass easily through the small intestine. The mushy food moves through slowly so your body can take out all the good things that it needs. My body is so clever. And by the time it's reached your bottom, it's turned into poo. Ugh, I don't like poo. Oh, you don't have to. Poo's just stuff your body doesn't need. Like rubbish. That's right. Needing to do a poo is like your body telling you it's time to put the rubbish out. Oh, but Dr. Ranch, 
When I tried this morning at home, I sat for ages and ages and nothing came out. Well, that's because your poo's gone a bit dry and hard now, so it won't come out very easily. Oh, no. So will my tummy get bigger and bigger until it pops? No, your poo will come out soon. But there's also one thing that you can do, Dick, that's really useful, and that's getting a toilet routine. Oh, but well, where do I get one of those from? From the shop? No, a toilet routine just means going to the toilet at the same time every day. In the morning? Yes, in the morning is a good time, and also after your lunch and after your tea. Oh, thank you. Water and fruit and running too We all know these are good for you But there's something else that they do All work together to help you poo Sometimes you sit and you sigh and you hee <sighs> Cos your poo won't come out How you wish it would leave I do! Oh, where does your poo come from? Why does it stop? Stay in your bottom and not make a plot. Look, but where you're making me Water laugh. and fruit and running too. We all know these are good for you. But there's something else that they do. All come together to help you poo. Don't squeeze or strain or do it in a rush. I'm not going anywhere. Soon you will be finished, then you can flush. And not while I'm sitting on it. <laughs> don't forget to wash my hands. So deep, you know what to do now, don't you? Easy to do, easy to poo. And if the things we've talked about don't work and you still can't go for a poo, don't worry, come back and we'll give you some medicine. OK, Dr Ange, thank you. I think you deserve a badge for coming to see me today, Dee. Oh, well, thank you, Dr Ange. Mm. And remember, there's nothing embarrassing or scary about going for a poo. When you've got to go, you've got to go. OK. Oh. You'll feel much better in no time. Bye, Dee. Bye, Dr Ange. Well, Deep's got to go, and now I've got to go too. See you next time, and remember, be happy, be healthy. Ah, be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Cos the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Hello, my name's Dr Range and welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Oh, good. Someone isn't feeling well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's... Petal! With buttons and bangles, the jangle as I hop When I'm having so much fun, it's hard for me to stop Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting when I'm singing any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping in my dancing shoes Hello, Petal. How are you feeling? Oh, hello, Dr Ranch. I'm feeling fine. I'm very pleased to hear that. So, how can I help you today? Well, it's not really anything, except, well, I've got this little black spot on my foot. Ah. And my brother says it's a pixie pimple. You don't think it could be a pixie pimple, do you, Dr Ranch? No, I'm sure it isn't. I think your brother might have made that up. Would you like me to take a look? Yes, yes! That was quick. Now let's have a look. <laughs> oh, that tickles. I, I thought it was just a bit of dirt, but then it wouldn't come off. Does it hurt? No, it, it doesn't hurt at all. Well, Petal, it's not dirt. No? What is it? Well, sometimes a germ can get into your foot. 
A germ? It's like a tiny, tiny little bug. A bug? Let me show you. Imagine this is a bug. They don't really look like this. They're so very tiny, you can't really see them. But when a bug or a germ finds a place it likes, it starts to spread out. And soon, there's a whole lot of them in a big gang of bugs. A gang of bugs? In my foot? Wow! Or kind of. The bugs make a lump of rough skin. My spot. That's right. They make a spot. And when you walk on it, or run on it... Or dance on it. I love dancing. <laughs> or dance on it. It presses the rough lump into your foot and that makes the kind of spot that you've got. It's called a veruca. Veruca. A super veruca. <laughs> um, can you make it go away? Don't worry. Verucas don't hurt you and they usually go away on their own. When? Well, it might take quite a while. Sometimes verucas go after a few weeks, but sometimes they hang about for a whole year. A whole year? That's forever. Well, with luck, yours will go sooner than that. Oh, Dr Range, how did the gang of bugs get in my foot? Now, that's a good question. You might have caught it from someone else. Do you ever go swimming? Oh, yes. I love swimming. I'm really good. I have a sticky foot. Wow, a certificate. This certifies that Petra can swim ten metres. Yes, I swam a whole width without armbands. <laughs> Very good. Mm. Did you know Veruca germs like to live in nice, warm, damp places? Like at the swimming pool. Exactly. Oh. Probably someone at swimming had a veruca and you caught it from them. So does that mean I can't go swimming in case someone catches a veruca from me? Well, actually, you can go swimming, but you'll have to wear a swimming sock like this. <laughs> a sock for swimming? <laughs> You're funny. You can't swim in socks. <laughs> no, it's true. You can. You're making it up. A swimming sock keeps your veruca germs tucked safely inside so they can't get out. Exactly. So then you won't spread your veruca to anyone else. I don't want to do that, Dr Range. No, you don't. Have you got a super veruca too, Dr Range? Not right now, but I have a sock just in case I get one. Here's a treatment I recommend for you. I'm going to give this cream to your mum to put in your veruca to help it go away faster. Oh yes, make it go fast. And until it's gone, you must wear a sock every time you go swimming. You can get one from the chemist with your mum. Perhaps I can get a sparkly golden one. Now that would be cool, Petal. Why is my foot sore, Dr Ranch? Your foot's on the ground, then the germ gets in. Hmm? Makes a veruca grow upon your skin. Oh. Just stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. Just stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. It's just a veruca, just a little lump. Ouch. A rough and ouchy skin makes a tiny ouchy bump. To stop that jump from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that jump from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. Splashing in the shower or going for a swim. Putting on the sock keeps that jump safely That's in. Good. A stripey sock keeps the germs away from all your friends. So go ahead and play. Yeah, stop that jump from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. Yeah. Stop that jump from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. It's a germ that loves to live on feet. Every foot without a sock gives a germ a little treat. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. To stop that germ from getting to your friends. Putting on a sock is what the doctor recommends. Great. I'm glad I can go swimming now. I'm going to wear my super veruca sock and not share my veruca with anybody. And before too long, your veruca will have disappeared. And then no one will have one. Not even me. Exactly. Now it's time to be on your way. Thank you for coming to see me today, Petal. Before you go... Brilliant! Thank you. I, I won't take it swimming with me because I don't want it to get wet. Bye-bye, Dr Ange. Bye, Petal. Get well soon. And it was good to have you with us too. Why don't you join us again next time when we'll be helping someone else feel better? Until then, be happy, be healthy. Oh, I'd better get this off.
Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Cause the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and... Get well soon. Hello, I'm Dr. Ange. Welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Oh, good. Someone's not feeling well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's Joby. Hello, Joby. Hello, Dr. Raj. Have you got a bit of a cold? No, Dr. Raj. So why the big handkerchief? Have you got a runny nose? My nose has been running, Dr. Raj, but it's been running red. Ah, oh, you've had a nosebleed, Joby. Yeah, like when I graze my knee playing football and it bleeds, but this time the blood has come out of my nose. Well, it's probably nothing to worry about. It doesn't look too bad, but I'd like to look up your nose. Um, it's fine now, I think. Look, uh, no more blood. Yes, but we should find out what made your nose bleed. Did you bump it when playing? Mm, not today. Mm, did a football hit you on the nose? No, only on the head when I scored. Goal! Did you walk into a tree? Mm, let me think. Yes, I did walk into a tree. Just the other day, we were playing walking backwards. So I only bumped my bottom and not my nose. So, how have you got a nose bleed? Let me take a closer look. Oh, OK, Dr Range, but guess what? What, Joby? I'll just uh, clean it out for you before you have a look. Ah, you've been picking your nose, haven't you? No. Well, maybe. Sometimes. Yes. Picking your nose can make it bleed, Joby. Wow, what's that, Dr Range? It's called an horoscope. It lets me look inside your nose. And it's also got a light that lets me see in there. Because it's so dark on my nose, like a cave. Cool. <laughs> Lean back. Okay, I'll put the light on now. I can see right inside your nose, Joby. I can guess what you can see. Guess away. Lots of bogeys. <laughs> well, actually, no. I can't see any. I'm guessing you might pick them all. I have, Dr Range, and guess what? Is this a guess I'm going to like, Joby? I don't just pick them, I eat them too. Oh, uh, no, Joby, that's not nice. But they're so tasty. OK, I'll try not to pick them, but why did picking my nose make it bleed, Dr Range? Well, your nose is full of tiny tubes for blood to run through. Picking your nose has made one or two of those tubes sore and made them bleed. But why do I have blood in my nose anyway, Dr Range? You have blood running through all your body. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> but not my ears. Yes, even your ears have blood. No. Blood is running through all your body. But why? What is it? I don't even know. And why is it red? I'd rather it was blue like my football colours. That'd be cool. That's a lot of questions, Joby. And what if I lose more blood, Dr Range? Will it run out? Whoa, slow down. So many questions. Ah, blood's good, Dr Range. I never knew it could do so many different things. It goes all around all of our bodies, dropping things off for us like little lorries. That's right. Blood is the body's own transport system. Cool. I don't want to lose any more of it now. Then let's make sure you get no more nosebleeds. Guess what, Dr Range? What, Joby? I'm not going to pick my nose anymore. That's good news. But just in case it starts to bleed again, grab a tissue and get a grown-up to help you. Just pinch your nose like this, lean forward and breathe through your mouth. 
And that will stop it? Yes, and when the blood stops, try not to sniff or sneeze and no picking. No picking at all? No, no picking. I promise, Dr Range, no more picking for me. I might have something to help you with that. Can you guess what it is? What, Dr Range? A fun balloon face with a fun balloon nose. And what will happen if you pick it? It will pop. Never put your finger up your nose Never put your finger up your nose That's not where your finger goes Never put your finger up your nose Never put your finger up your nose I won't Never put your finger up your nose I mean I won't do it again You can give your nose a blow But if you pick the blood may flow so never put your finger up your nose He's right, you know Never put your finger up your nose With your finger up your snout Snout You might make the blood flow out Bleh. So never put your finger up your nose But if the blood begins to drip and drop Don't worry about that bleed Hank is what you need Soon that dripping drop is going to stop Yes, it's going to stop so never put your finger up your nose Oh no Never put your finger up your nose No sir That's not where your finger goes Never put your finger up your nose Never put your finger up your nose If you get another nosebleed, Jovi, your mummy or daddy can help you at home you only need to come back and see me if it happens a lot or if it doesn't stop. Just remember... No more picking! Exactly. Here you go. A special Get Well Soon badge. Ah, oh, thank you, Dr Rand. See ya! Bye, JV. I know it's tempting, but it's best not to pick your nose. Bye, everyone. And remember, be happy, be healthy. Be healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy and get well soon. And if you're feeling poorly, just remember this tune. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Cos the doctor and nurse, well, they know what to do. They do. They'll always take good care of you. So be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. Be happy, be healthy, and get well soon. The doctor will tell you what is good for you. Be happy, be healthy, and... Get well soon. Hello, my name's Dr Range and welcome to my surgery. Are you well? Yeah! Oh, good. Someone isn't feeling well. I wonder who my next patient is. Who's come to visit me? Who will it be? Can you guess which friend it is? Let's see. It's... Petal! With buttons and bangles They jangle as I hop When I'm having so much fun It's hard for me to stop Twirling, twisting when I'm singing Any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping In my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting when I'm singing Any song I choose Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping In my dancing shoes Twirling, twisting, skating, skipping In my dancing shoes Woo! Hello, Petal. Oh, hello, Dr. Ranch. Oh, excuse me. I need to uh, go to the loo. I wonder what's up with Petal today. <laughs> Better now? Um, oh, not really. I think I need to go to the loo again. That's a pity. I was hoping you'd want to see this. <laughs> a poodle I've made for you. A poodle? Yes, a poodle with a pom-pom tail. Oh, that's brilliant. Hello, Poo-Poo. Poo-Poo? 
That's his name. Poo Poo the Poodle. <laughs> of oh, course. Dr Ranch. Yes, Petal? I think I need to go to the loo again. Oh. But what's Poo Poo going to do? He needs you to look after him. Oh, OK. Mm. Are you needing to go to the toilet a lot, Petal? <laughs> yes. Well, your mum did mention it to me earlier. Would you mind if I took your temperature? Mm. I'll just need to pop this thermometer under your arm. Does it hurt when you go to the toilet? It stings and makes my tummy sore. Hmm. Well, your temperature is a bit higher than it should be. I think you might have a bug in your wee. A bug in my wee? Well, yes. Perhaps I can show you. Did your mummy say you with something today? Maybe. A little bottle, perhaps? Yes, but it's got my wee in it. I tell you what, I'll close my eyes and count to three and let's see if it appears. OK. One, two, three. three. There's a pot of wee. <laughs> <laughs> well done. I can use this to do a test to find out what the problem is. Would you like to watch? Oh, yes, please. Pop on my pingy gloves. Ping. 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 <laughs> and pop this stick in here and see what it tells me. What does it tell you? I can see from your test that you do have a little bug. But how did a bug get in my wee? A bug is a germ and germs are always looking for ways to get into our bodies and cause trouble. So, to help stop them getting into your wee, whenever you go to the toilet you must always remember to wipe, flush, wash. Wipe, flush, wash. That's right. Wipe your bottom, flush the loo and wash your hands. There can be germs in poo and you don't want them getting into your wee. So how can you stop them? You must always wipe from front to back. Wipe front to back. Wipe front to back, then flush, then wash. Wipe, wipe front, front to, to back, back then, then flush, flush then, then wash. <laughs> and you must make sure you drink lots of water, Petal. So you can wash inside your tummy. That's absolutely right. Drinking water helps to clean your insides. Yes, I'm right. I think I need to go to the loo again. Well, while we're waiting, can you remember what you have to do when you go to the loo? That's right. Wipe, then flush, then wash. I'm back and I remembered. Wipe front to back, then flush, then wash. Very good, Petal. You need something to make you feel better now. Oh, yes, please. So I'll give your mum this medicine for you to take for three days. One, two, three, have a little wee. <laughs> and don't forget to drink plenty too. And eat healthy foods like fruit and vegetables to keep your poo nice and soft, which also helps. And when I go to the loo, I must remember, wipe front to back, then flush, then wash. You've got it. Yes, I have got it, Dr Range. Wipe front to back, then flush, then wash. Bugs like to live in our wee and our poo. Ooh. So we have to know what to do in the loo. When bottoms need wiping, we must take good care yes. Not to spread any mucky bugs that are there Oh no! Watch out, mucky bugs, it's time for goodbye Bye, We'll keep our hands clean with a wash, rinse and dry Watch out, mucky bugs, it's time for goodbye We'll keep our hands clean with a wash, rinse and dry I like to use lovely bubbly soap now we must learn how to wipe the right way Start at the front and then you'll be okay Wash, rinse and dry your hands when you're done I will Warm soapy water keeps us bugs on the run Watch, Watch out mucky bugs, bugs, it's time for goodbye We'll keep our hands clean with a wash, rinse and dry Watch out mucky bugs, it's time for goodbye Keep our hands clean with a wash, rinse and dry Watch out, mucky bugs, it's time for goodbye We'll keep our hands clean with a wash, rinse and dry Watch out, mucky bugs, it's time for goodbye We'll keep our hands clean and wave those mucky bugs bye-bye And don't come back Thank you, Dr Ranch. I'm going to be very good every time I go to the loo No more bugs I'm glad to hear that And so is Poo Poo Oh yes, Poopa the Poodle. I'd almost forgotten. Thank you for coming to see me today, Petal. And get well soon. Oh, thanks. 
Bye-bye, Dr Ranch. Bye, Petal. It was good to have you with us too. Why don't you join me again next time when we'll be helping someone else feel better. Until then, be happy, be healthy. And foot and mouth disease. Dotted, dotty spots, but none upon your knees.